I just thought I'd give you a guided tour of my camera bag and uh, the equipment that I take on uh, the majority of my shoots. Um, the bag itself, it's a very good one by Tarmac, very rugged. Um, the, it doesn't have a weatherproof co uh, cover on it, but it does. all the zips are waterproof. Although I wouldn't take it out in really heavy rain, um, but light rain would be absolutely fine. Um, it's a 6X which is uh, just indicates the size of it and you can probably get I would say um, definitely in a DSLR several lenses in and probably a smaller camera with a couple of lenses in too um, so let me show you so uh, you've got two compartments at the top here I don't really carry too much in here um, but what I do have is I have spare batteries um, Canon remote control um, cards and these are memory cards you can never have enough good memory cards I had a memory card fail on me uh, about a month ago which was not fun so do get um, a well-known brand or you may have problems uh, this side is just for bits and bobs in here I've got some uh, some tape very useful to have and some other little bits and pieces cleaning cloth very handy a little torch that I always carry on there. You never know when your batteries might die. Your torch uh, might die, as you know. I do a lot of shots um, in night time, so that's my little emergency one. Inside, um, you've got some good zip compartments at the top. Here I've got some filter holders, um, a couple of little instruction books for a remote control, some wires, uh, remote control, very good for time-lapsing for this. Inside here I've got obviously my main camera, which is a Canon uh, 5D Mark III. At the moment it's got a 14mm lens on because I had it last night. Uh, very good camera. Um, my lenses I've got also, this is the f uh, 17 to 40 that you saw I had in my last video. Um, this is a great lens. This one here is a 24 to 105 this particular lens is a very good travel lens to have and we have also for my portrait work a uh, prime 85 mil uh, it's 1.8 um, compartments here uh, lots of filters this is a filter i use uh, quite a lot this is my very old heliopan it's a 10 stop you may have heard of big stoppers well i've got the circular version that it's great for slowing things down during the daytime uh, obviously um, a filter which is for um, it's a polarizing filter I've also got the same for my Fuji camera which are smaller filters there so keep those there this is my graduated filter set I keep a lot of stuff in bags because not only does it keep it dry and stops fingerprints on it it also keeps the dust off it it saves you having issues in the future so um, inside here that just screws onto the front of the lens this is a graduated filter I've got various ones I tend to prefer soft filters than anything else this is a another uh, neutral density filter this one is um, I think this is a four stop so it does slow down a little bit that's quite handy doing waterfalls and when you just want to catch the as we call it in the trade whooshery on the coast when the waves hit the rocks um, I use the high-tech ones a lot of people do go for other brands I, I've had no problems with high-tech they are they are cheaper than the the Lee filters but you know I've heard nothing but good things about Lee certainly not saying one is better than the other some other filters there also and in here these are dead batteries I keep my dead rechargeable batteries in a in a waterproof bag these are so handy if you ever go to a hotel and you get a shower cap keep them shower caps are amazing if you do any shooting down the coast shower caps are brilliant so I've got lots of shower caps I do travel a lot so I'm quite lucky to get uh, a lot of those um, so that's there I mean obviously I've got my other camera here which is the XE2 which is a Fuji um, this is a great camera it's a crop sensor it's really handy very light uh, it's very good um, this particular lens on here is the standard 1855 that comes with it but I've also got 
um, this one here, sorry I keep on hitting the, the camera with my head, um, this one I can use for portraits as you can see there, it's, um, it's a 1.4, okay, so it's a very fast lens and uh, it's 35mm, so good again mainly for portraits and for street photography. And finally, my only other lens I have for this is a nice wide lens there. It's a 12mm, but of course that's a crop sensor and it's by Samyang. I really rate Samyang. I think for the money that you pay for their lenses, they're quite excellent and would highly recommend you look at any lenses for that. So that's my camera bag and um, hope you found that interesting and I'll catch you again around the corner.